fortunate that uh, we won the second, uh, the second round and continued to go and sign the Declaration of Independence. There was a big uh, vows and being our nation's best value. Right now, uh, my whole team, except for three soldiers, have basically deployed before. Um, I think we've all been in that austere environment. We know how the living arrangements are there. Um, we know how the culture is and how the customs are. Um, I think that helps us too because we will be out in, in their villages and towns, um, in their cities. And then bottom line, you're dealing with active duty component and you make sure that you're managing the mission itself and getting the job done and staying succinct. Don't know if this will be my last one, but um, I wanted to do one more. I haven't gone in a while, felt it was my turn. Um, and that's why I signed up for the mission. Um, and I got lucky, again, I got a crew that was given to me that um, was pretty much, you know, hand-picked. So I'm feeling pretty confident about it. No other place that I should be with this group this morning than with all of you. I want to add my thanks uh, to all our special guests that have been identified and we have uh, recognized their presence, particularly retired members of the Army and Air National Guard, uh, the family members that we'll talk about you in a minute. I was standing out. I've been here for several deployments here and, and up in Newcastle and even one in the stadium down at uh, Delaware State University. I think we're going to have one down there major a little bit uh, later in this summer. I'm uh, Senior Airman uh, Matthew Harchie with the 166 Communications Fleet. Um, my duty title is Client Systems Technician, or 3D1X1. I uh, joined the Delaware National Guard just to have the opportunity to serve my country and uh, have also more opportunities uh, later in life, mostly just to be closer to home and have, uh, I guess, accessibility to some of the stuff that I wanted to benefit from the Guard. Uh, favorite part of my job is uh, definitely helping people. Uh, I want to make sure that technology is not exactly the enemy, which sometimes tends to be um, more or less get people to see technology as a tool. Uh, so the main mission of the communications flight is to ensure that the communications are robust, reliable, and secure. Um, for client systems, that means that we're making sure that the customers' uh, machines and any item that they're actually using that belongs to COM is up and running as intended. Um, so I would say that's the number one thing that we focus on as a client systems troop. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Stevens. I am a 66 communications flight, RF transmission systems, so radio frequency transmission systems. Uh, we provide communications.
communications to to anybody who needs it with radio, satellite, ground to ground, ground to air. Uh, I joined because I wanted to continue my service in the Air Force from active duty and gain a different experience, a different career education too. So we fixed the uh, mobile radios and the vehicles for the fire department and also we fixed an uh, antenna that was not getting good reception in the maintenance, maintenance uh, uh, hangar. My name is Jesse Enrique, tech surgeon, 166 communications flight, and I'm cyber infra infrastructure. So in infrastructure, we, we configure the network switches and stuff that keeps the, the network up and running every day. Um, we also make network cables and we, we uh, patch cables to, to the, the land drops in the wall so people get uh, uh, internet uh, capabilities so and computers. Uh, my favorite part of my job is the, the challenges we face every day. So when people call in or if the network goes down or something like that, we're constantly troubleshooting new things every day. And, and being able to just get in there and, and work on things and, and finding out the results of this. The biggest thing is that not everything can be, be fixed just with a, a click of a mouse. Um, some things do take a lot more time, especially issues that we can't figure out initially. So we troubleshoot for hours and hours and hours and then we get the resolution and finally fix that issue. So it's not always a spot on fix for everything. I'm Senior Emin Harchi and I am the mission. I'm Staff Sergeant Stevens and I am the mission. I am Technical Sergeant Enrique, and I am the mission. Since before the birth of our nation, Army soldiers and civilians have answered the call to live with purpose, to make a difference, to live for something bigger, to stand firm when others may falter. They follow in the footsteps of giants. From those who first fought for our nation's freedom, to those who stormed the beaches of Normandy. Today's soldiers and civilians continue to answer our nation's call. For 244 years, a deep and powerful bond has been forged between America's soldiers and the nation they serve. They have remained vigilant, ready to defend our families, our neighbors, and the American way of life. They fight for what matters. They fight for country. They fight for honor. They fight for one another and they fight to win. Though the character of war has changed, one thing has never and will never change. The strength and character of a United States Army soldier. These extraordinary men and women choose a different path in life. A path of uncommon selflessness, of service. A path that ensures all our freedoms. Whatever the challenge, wherever the mission, when America needs her best, she sends a soldier.